Is Blue Willow a good idea or complete madness? Hello, my friends, how are you doing? So today I want to talk about the concept behind Blue Willow because this sounds like the worst idea ever and the best idea ever had a baby and created this kind of AI concept. So what is going on here? Now, on the surface, this looks like mid journey, but completely is not mid journey. Forget about that. Because of course, right now, nothing is like mid journey. Nothing has this visual graphic fidelity that you get from mid journey. But at the same time, mid journey is limited to just using text prompts. And then of course, you can use images, but it doesn't have all the other choices you have from stable diffusion. And this is what stable diffusion is about choice. You have the choice as a individual as an artist to create push and pull and merge and mix until you get the artwork that you want to have with a million different options but of course you might be overwhelmed by a million different options so the idea of blue willow is how about we take the different models out there and just collect them. And then we train an AI to figure out which of these models and data sets is best for the prompt you enter and give you the best results based on that. What about the other choices? What about the steps, the CFG scale, the rendering methods, in painting, out painting, all of that? And they said, yeah, we are going to add that later on because right now we are focusing on training this kind of super model. And then later we have these options back again probably. So I asked, does this mean this is going to be like invoke AI, but with an AI that chooses for me the best models? And I said, yeah, kind of could be that that would be the result of that. So in a certain sense, that sounds really great because if you look online right now, there is hundreds, there's thousands of different models and it's impossible to keep the overview of which of those would be good for you. And on the other hand, when you think about mid journey, isn't that already choosing for you the best solution for the prompt that you're entering? And then there was another point that they said in our discussion, you can incrementally update this model because instead of having just one big model like you have with mid journey where you have to wait for a long time to have changes implemented they can just update the individual models and this will automatically then be available for everybody through that super model that they have trained on so again kind of a great idea because then you get updates faster and updates where they are needed so if there's a problem that problem can be fixed faster and more specific now the biggest problem i have with this is how do you know from my prompt what I actually want? Because the prompt and me are different things. Language is very limited in expressing what I have in my mind. This is basically why we have pictures because words can't express that. So training an AI to choose for me I'm not sure if that is a good idea. But then on top of that, when you have, for example, something like mid journey, here I have one model and I can learn based on that model how to work with the prompt to get specific results. And I can tinker around, I can change it, I can work with weights, positive weights, negative weights, you have a negative prompt and stuff like that. So there's a lot of ways to manipulate a model. You can learn how to interact with that model to get the results you want. Now, if this changes every time a part of that, like out of, let's say 500 or 1000 models, stuff is changing because it's updated, suddenly the prompts work differently. I don't get the same result. But also every time I change the prompt, the super model that is trained might choose to give me a different mix of models. So maybe my prompt is not working with that new mix in the same way as with the mix before with the other prompt. So that seems to be like a nightmare where you battle an endless battle against always changing model mixes. We have to see in the future if that is actually a good idea. 
Another critique point that I have is that specifically with stable diffusion, what you have is that you create your own models, like with Dream Booth, with textual inversion, with hyper networks, where you train your own styles, objects, subjects, and then you can merge that with models and you can refine them to perfection to create something that only you can create because only you have these merges, mixes, models, which brings back the uniqueness and individuality into the artistic output. And that is very important for the future of that. But then at the same time, it is also very important for the future that because all of that is so super complex that we have tools that help us. So it might be a super good idea that's amazing and the future of AI. It might be a really bad idea that brings you in an endless loop of trying to figure out how this beast can be controlled. I am not sure if I hate it or love it, but um, it's so early in the development that I guess we have to wait a little bit longer. But you can go online right now and you can tinker with it because right now this is so early that it is completely free. No matter how many images you create with this, you don't have to pay anything. You just have to go on the Discord and yeah, see what you get. Let me know in the comments what you think. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.